Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. In this session we are going to see arrays and records in COBOL. If you see here, I have declared 0, 01 my array dot. I have not given any picture class for here. In the previous scalar variables we have used 77 as the level number. But if you see now I have declared 0, 01 as the level number. For level 1 you don't give picture class. It is at the top level. From 0, 01 to 76 you can have one level and other level in a nested fashion. If you have a set of elements declared with different levels like 0, 1, 2, 3, something like that, it is termed as a record. A record is nothing but a group of variables. But before going to a detailed records, let us see the arrays. In level 1, you don't give the picture class. At the same time, you don't give array definitions. From level 2 to 76, you can use array. Even in level 77, you cannot use arrays. In level 2, I have given EMP name, picture x of 10. Now I say occurs 5 times. You can give 10 times or 15 times, it doesn't matter. It is basically how many elements that you want in your array. Now I have given, this is 10 characters, alphanumeric, occurs 5 times. This is the definition of array. So if you want to use an array, use a normal variable name but a different level 0 to 76 and then use occurs how many times. Now to use this array inside this I am just declaring move all spaces to my array. When I say you, I can see when say move spaces to my array doesn't matter but when you say move all spaces every single element will be uh, initialized with space. Now I am saying move James within double quotes, this is a string, to EMP name of 1. Within normal brackets you have to give the index. This is called subscript or index. Since we have given 5 times, you can go up to 5. Unlike C array which starts from 0, COBOL array starts from 1 to those many number of elements. So it will have employee name of 1, employee name of 2, up to employee name of 5. So I am moving James to employee name of 1. Kim to 2, Woods to employee name of 3 and 4 and 5, what I'm doing is I get a number between 1 and 5 in a variable WSA. I'm di displaying employee name of that. So if I give number 3, it should print Woods. If I give number 4, it should print Tim. So this is the basic declaration of arrays. For arrays, you need to use level 2 to 76 normal variable definition but you have to use occurs how many number of times. Let us execute this. Now he is asking a number. Now I am giving the number 3. So number 3, employee name of 3 is Woods. So let us verify in the code. Yes, employee name of 3 is Woods. So I am going back and then type x to exit. Now let us verify once more. I execute it. I give number 4 number 4 is Tim which is correct exit but I try to give number say 8 I have not defined an array for 8 I give 8 it is giving me junk value so whenever you are exceeding arrays limit either the COBOL program can abort or the COBOL program can work uh, bad so you need to make sure that you are not exceeding the array limits. You have defined as occurs 5 times, you cannot exceed that 5. So this is the basic definition of arrays. You can have array within the array, it's, uh, it's allowed, but normally in regular programming principles, we are mostly restrained to maybe single dimensional array, not beyond that. So it's very simple to recapture arrays. Do not use that in level 1 or level 77. Use from level 2 to 76. You have to use occurs n number of times. Then to access the individual elements, that element name, then within brackets, within normal brackets, 1 to the maximum number of that particular array definition. So this is arrays. Let us see records. Okay, let us look at here. Now we have used another 0, 1 level EMP record. 
a record is nothing but a group of variables defined underneath it the level determines the hierarchy within the record now I say this is 1 the next level can be 0 to or anything but it has to be higher than this so 0 phi usually we define 1 5 10 something like that so that it is very easy to track it out and it is also easy to insert if you want any more levels now if you say 0 1 the next level all the elements which are at the same level are of the same hierarchy so the employee record contains code name date of birth designation if you see each element is of a different picture class but this contains multiple variables under the same name employee record this is very similar to the C structures now if you look here I have defined EMP name under the array also I have defined the EMP name under the record also this is not a problem but at some place we need to do some qualification okay qualification meaning if you simply say EMP name the program will not understand what is the EMP name you are referring to whether it is EMP name of employee record or EMP name of my array so if you see here this record contains four elements code name date of birth and designation the top level is EMP record the next level or all the node levels are the zero file levels each one has a different picture class now what I'm doing is when I want to move the variables with values then I have to use employee name of the parent the parent of this one is my array the parent of this one is this so if you use the word of and then the parent name this is called qualification so now I'm using employee name of one of my array two of my array if you do not do this it will get confused whether it is the employee name of this or that now when I use this employee name here still it will have a confusion let us do the compilation and then see what happens over here so I do the compilation now I think it has listed a lot of errors let us see the errors so if you go back in the error it says a uh, line number this one it says employee name within bracket one within bracket of my array this is erroneous so he says this is something like I'm not able to understand you have got 36 errors so do something but we know pretty clearly in this line number four how do you know line number 46 if you go back here it says line number 43 you see the line number 43 over here it is giving error right here so how do I correct I go back one of the things is that though it looks easy what you need to do is this subscript whenever you are qualifying the subscript has to appear at the end not in between so you need to make sure whenever you are qualifying an array element the subscript should be next to the parent not at the element level so this is one syntax level you need to know so let me remove all these things you will see all the 36 errors going off let us do that okay so we have removed all these things so employee name of my array then the first element subscript 1 2 3 4 5 same way this should also go after this guy now I have given this now let us compile once again this time let us see whether he is displaying any errors now let me type this okay this time it is saying only one error erroneous qualification employee name it is giving line number 55 line number 55 if you see accept employee name if I go back here accept employee name now he is getting confused right here employee name of what now I'm saying employee name of EMP record so if you are using multiple records and arrays in between whereas one element has the same name you need to use the word of as a qualifier now you will not have any issues whereas employee code let us compile this see what happens now I'm going back list this one this time no errors or warnings see I have not qualified for employee code I didn't say employee code of employee record but it is also better to say employee code of employee EMP record no harm absolutely it is fine but wherever there is a confusion 
this EMP name is the only confusing area because EMP name appears here it appears exactly here also so what I am doing is I am wherever there is a confusion I am qualifying with the of and the parent name EMP name of the parent employee record so this is clear now let me run this program so it goes for the first one now I am giving four it, it uh, gives the arrays value now it is asking give me employee code I am giving employee code as 45 okay it says give me employee name let me say uh, Julia okay now it says employee date of birth it's a uh, 10 character 8 characters right now I say 06 uh, 05 uh, 1998 then it says employee designation now I'm saying uh, CEO okay now I asked it to print if you see the code I said display the whole employee record the moment you see that see it is printing 0045 Julia then space then that value CO it prints as a contiguous set of bytes because code name date of birth employee designation all are part of the single record so it prints the stream of bytes so the use of records is nothing but group a set of variables under one name and pack them as a stream of bytes rather than having separate separate variables you group them at a later point of time the reason why we are using records is when we are dealing with files to write data we will use a record get the elements from the users write the whole record in one single shot rather than writing individual elements so it's very easy to recapture this session we have seen arrays you have to use level 2 to level 76 do not use the word occurs in level 1 or 77 for arrays use occurs n number of times then use the normal bracket to uh, qualify sorry the to give the subscript when it comes to the records give the name give the next level field level values then you can define your normal fields whenever there is a conflict or an ambiguity or a confusion of the same element appearing in two different records then use the word of to qualify whenever you are using array and then qualification use the subscript after the parent this is very simple and when you say display the employee record will pack all the four values underneath that and then print it with that we stop this session thank you